Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're talking about another perfume from Dua Fragrances. And they've made one a while back called High Seas. And High Seas is an inspired expression of Creed's Arofa. And Arofa is a high-end fragrance that's bright, fresh, citrusy, and has a lot of marine touches to it, meaning like, kind of like the sea. I don't feel like it's too beachy. It doesn't have any sunscreen, coconutty type of smell, but it reminds me of like the sea. <laughs> Is there any better way to put that? So it kind of has some like not seaweedy notes. It's salty, it's bright, and it's fresh, just like Rolfa is. So if you don't like Dua's interpretation of it, you most likely will not like Creed's version. Uh, Dua's versions are typically stronger, longer lasting, with more amped up citrusy notes if it calls for it. I think it's a little bit more amped up here in this case, but I think it's pretty damn close to the original Arofa. So I do like High Seas. So this is a 30 ml bottle. It's quite expensive for what it is if you ask me. This goes for 50 bucks right now on Dua's website. And uh, the thing is though, they do have sales from time to time. So do check that out. And you can see when they have discount prices, which happens quite often in my opinion. And this one is actually a 30 ml bottle, but lasts you a really long time because it's an extract de parfum concentration, meaning it has some oil in it. So be careful when spraying on your clothes. That's a very important point. I should probably mention that in more of my Dua fragrance reviews. Anyway, it's just that strong. And that's kind of like the downfall when it comes to this fragrance, in my opinion, in a way. Let me explain after I tell you about the notes in High Seas. This is a marine classification and we have notes of orange, bergamot, lemon, violet, cumin, melon, basil, rosemary oil, cyclamen, jasmine, coriander, ginger root, black peppercorn, cedar, musk, sandalwood, moss, and amber. Whoa, that's a lot of notes. So if something has a lot of notes, does that necessarily mean it's a good fragrance? Not necessarily. It just depends on the ratio and how they're blended and all the other stuff I don't pretend to understand, but it's just that good of a fragrance that I highly recommend this to people that are fans of Creed and also that love marine scents that's not seaweedy in that sense. It's bright, it's marine-like, it's safe and citrusy, and Dua's version lasts a very, very long time, especially for being a fresh scent. If you guys know anything about fresh, bright, citrusy scents, those notes do not stay around for long. In fact, they're there for maybe an 45 minutes, an hour, and they're out of here. This one lasts a very long time. In fact, this one I feel like for me, if you want my honest opinion, is a little screechy and a little strong and sharp to my nose. And while that's good, only for the heat and the summertime. I think I need that summer heat to really calm that brightness down. It's not just bright as in citrusy and orangey and lemony. It's not just that. There's a sharp, not abrasiveness, but it's, it's a little sharp. And I think it needs to die down after spraying it. Now, not many people will complain that like, oh, having too many citruses is a bad thing. But there is something going on here that's more complex than just citrusy being sharp. Yes, dead of summer uh, heat works well uh, to help bring that down, or you can wait a little bit before going out into public. If you spray too much of this on, I think it might give people a tiny bit of a headache and aversion to their nose. Um, this is just not as versatile as I would like for me to be. I like to wear my fragrances um, all, not all year round, but I like to rotate them throughout the year. It's not that it would be ignored in the winter time. I just don't think this especially would be blending well with the cold winds next to you. Um, some fragrances are suited for the holidays, are suited for certain times of the year. I never quite understood that. Wear what you want when you want to wear it, right? But in this case, I can see what people mean by some fragrances just need to stay in their lane. You need to be in a boat somewhere <laughs> by yourself, enjoying the sharp, uh, nature of this fragrance, at least until it dies down a little bit. Is this totally unisex? Yes, absolutely. Men can wear it, women can wear it. Um, I've worn it to the gym a few times. 
or maybe just one time, and I was smelling myself every time I turned. So it's that strong. So be careful. It's not cloying, like a sweet cloying, but it's sharp. And I think you can bother yourself when it's on you just as much as you can bother other people around you. Which goes back to my original point why this is such a good deal when it comes to Dua fragrances. You're buying very expensive um, fragrances you'll never get, concentrated down to a 30 ml bottle. I've bought this one twice, so that goes to show you what I think of Dua. But as for right now, it may not be for me for the colder months that are even coming up right now. Just my opinion, I'm just giving you a little idea of what I get out of this from wearing it for quite a while. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.